Hello everyone, the Nerd Medic over here and in this video we are going to talk about the different parts of pinna. So pinna is the outside or outermost projecting part of the external ear. In this video let us get down to the understanding of the different parts of pinna. So here we go. Now in the very beginning we will be highlighting the outer rim of the pinna. This outer rim that I am highlighting with yellow is the outer rim of the pinna right now this outer rim of the pinna is known as the helix of the pinna right right just like helix we helix we have some another rim which is just over here right this rim that we can see now is known as the antihelix because it is just opposite to the helix, so it is known as the anti-helix. Right. Helix means the helical structure, so round rim-like structure. Now, the space between the two helices, the depressed space uh, that you can see over here, this depressed region between the two helices, this depressed region, this depressed region is known as something that is known as the scarfa. Right. This is known as the scarfa. Right. Now again we have another protruding part over here. This protruding part, this part is known as the tragus. Right. And another similar structure which is a uh, protruding just over here is known as the antitragus just over here as you can see this is known as the antitragus right now between tragus and antitragus we have another space so this flat this flat surface over here between tragus and antitragus this region is known as This region is known as the concha. Just behind concha, we can see that there is the opening of the external auditory canal. I have highlighted that, right? Now, another structure that you have to appreciate over here that between antitragus and antitragus, there is a notch like structure that I have highlighted with a blue hue. This notch like structure over here is known as the intertragical notch it is known as the inter tragical notch right so these are more or less the structures of the pinna just another place that you have to appreciate over here is that this region over here that i'm highlighting with sky blue over here this region there is another fossa like structure and this sky blue fossa like structure is known as the triangular fossa right so to summarize this all in the pinna we have two rim like structures these two rim like structures are one helix and another one is the anti helix between helix and antihelix, we have two flat spaces. One is known as the scaffa, highlighted by dark blue, and another is a triangular fossa, that is by light blue. Then we come downwards, then we see there's some other space. These are two projections known as the tragus and the antitragus. Between tragus and antitragus, we have the intertragical notch, and just above the intertragical notch, we have a flat space which is known as the concha. And just behind the concha and or through the concha, we have the opening of the external auditory canal. And the part that I almost forgot to mention in this discussion is that we have another part of the pinna which is uh, which is mostly fatty tissue where women wear their rings. This region, this region of the pinna is known as the lobule. And I almost forgot to mention this. This part of the pinna is known as the lobule. So just let me mention that. Right. Okay. 
So I believe you have understood the different parts of the PINA. The different parts of the PINA is very important from the point of view of your medical examinations, examination point of view, and to describe different landmarks on the PINA when you are studying your otorhinolaryngology or anatomy. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your colleagues, peers in your medical school, and do subscribe to the channel so that you never ever miss a video from my channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.